All right. Good evening. Hello, everyone. I cannot tell you how excited we are. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? That is people. tens of people. Socially distanced, COVID compliant, responsible, and safe. We're not out of the woods yet, but this all feels like steps in the right direction. I'm not going to talk too much yet, but believe me, I will talk a lot. So we're going to start off by playing. Thank y'all so much for being here. This is David Torkanowski on the piano. This is James Singleton on the bass. The bass. Yours truly, Stanton Moore on the drums and the cymbals. Let's get this thing started.
as you guys. Let's give y'all a round of applause. Please. Thank you so much for being here. Torque, James, and I have been dreaming about this moment. We've played several streams together throughout the pandemic, fortunately, but we never had an audience. And so this is the first time we've played in front of even a small audience in over a year. So thank y'all. We can't tell you how much this means to us. Really thank you does. so much. Really does. Very healing. And I know this is a different experience for Tipitina's, but we knew that when we came back, we'd have to come back gradually and grow it. And, and we want to be smart. We want to be responsible. And you guys, you guys are, are being so great. And we, we knew we'd have to do it seated. And we knew we'd have to do it with smaller ensembles. So thank you all for trusting us to provide something different for you here in this hollowed ground, that hollowed building that we call Tipitina's. This cathedral, if you will. This cathedral, if you will. And I, I know for some of you, this may be the first time seeing this trio. Tork and I like to conduct this almost like a live podcast where we, we talk and we play and we, we kind of enjoy Nothing scripted. ourselves. Not Nothing scripted. scripted. Nothing, Nothing scripted. scripted. Nothing. <laughs> we're going to stop talking and we're going to do some playing. Thank you all for being here.
Thank you all so much. That was a tune called Miles by a good friend of ours named Tony DeGrotti, who these gentlemen have got. That's right, you can give it up for Tony DeGrotti. Tony DeGrotti played saxophone with this gentleman right up here, Professor Longhair. Yes, he did. I studied drums with Johnny Vodakovich, who played drums with this gentleman right up here. It's funny how all things seem to come back to Professor Longhair in New Orleans. So speaking of that, I think maybe at this time we should pay a little tribute to Professor Longhair. Yeah, of course. And David Torkanowski, I'm going to let you tell this story because I, I recently heard this story for the first time from you that I hope I'm not putting you on the spot. No. But, but I am. No more than usual. But I am. So David told me this story, and I hope that he's not going to be too humble now telling this story. But when Fess passed, Fess's band came and played oh, on this stage. That's right, a few days after he passed. And who did they ask to play piano? I mean, yeah, me. But <laughs> I, I always thought that that should have been an empty chair, but it was quite an honor. Yeah. So for me, growing up in New Orleans, coming to this hollowed place, this cathedral, on Sundays, getting to play in a, in a young people's jazz forum, jam session every Sunday, and I would get to sit over here on the side of the stage, watch Johnny Vodakovich play, and then eventually get to sit in and, pardon my French, have my ass handed to me go home, practice all week, come back and hope to be a little bit better. So to, for me to be playing on this stage with these guys that I've been watching for a couple of years, they're not too much older than me, but these guys are musical heroes of mine, David Torkinowski and James Singleton. And to be able to play on this stage with these gentlemen not only is as a drummer, an unbelievable honor. Not only as a drummer, but as an owner. Well, I don't want to get too far into that. Right now, I'm just trying to be a drummer. All right, check this out.
Stanton Moore on the drums, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this last year has been so difficult for so many. It's been hard to maintain your optimism. Like, you know, like what's going to happen next? But I just want to tell you what optimism is. Tipitina's hasn't made a dollar all year. They've been hemorrhaging money. And yet, Stanton Moore came to me and said, hey, man, we're thinking about buying a piano. Do you have any suggestions? And I said, yes, this instrument right here is the finest digital piano made in the world. But it's like $20,000. And optimism is, OK, and they bought it. But, but the, the part you left out, Torque, is that it's a small price to pay when you pay it off over 20 years. <laughs> so yes, optimism, but we said, man, if we pay this off over time, we're going to have to open small. We're going to have to open with intimate shows like this. We need an instrument like this so that we can have you. Wow. We can have... Wow. We can have... Go on. We can have... John Cleary and, and Walter Wolfman Washington, which yeah. we're hoping to have. Nice. We can have Ivan Neville tomorrow night. Hell yes. Already sold out. Beautiful. And these things are exciting, but we have to be smart. We have to be careful. But I knew we couldn't do it correctly if we didn't do this. So really, thanks to you. Because really, the story is, Torque was like, say, bro, <laughs> listen, you need to buy this piano, bro. So... It was more him twisting my arm. That but actually thank is, you, Torque. That, that's actually true. I tried to dress it up a bit. Oh, man, thank you. Thank you. Wow, well, now would be a great time to bring up the fact that we are accepting tips. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think that we have QR codes on the table so you can, you can zap that with your phone. Just put on your camera, zap it, and you can, you can tip the band via Venmo or PayPal. And we, we, we will take checks, too, if you, know, if you, if you want to walk them up to the stage. Apparently, we do. And also, if you're, if you're watching on the stream, please feel free to tip the band. We have been getting by with your support and your love and your, and your generosity. Thank you. I feel like there might be a light at the end of this tunnel. We hope. And thank y'all for being so supportive. So I don't want to talk too much, but the, un the unifying thread in this trio is that we like to play music by New Orleans composers. That last piece was written by James Singleton. Go, Jamie. The piece before that was written by Professor Longhair. And yes, indeed, we're going to play an, a, another piece was written by Tony DeGrotti, who not from here, but lives here. And we're going to play a piece coming up by some more New Orleans composers. Right now, we're going to play a piece by a man you may have heard of by the name of Al Alan Toussaint. That's right. You can give it over, Alan Toussaint. And we're going to play a piece right now that I'm going to dedicate to my beautiful wife, who is sitting right here. And this is, this is, a, this is a tune. I, I, again, I don't want to talk too much, but I'm going to tell this story because we started doing this, this tribute record to Alan Toussaint. This is one of the first tunes that we recorded. I brought it home, and I played it for my wife, and she teared up and started crying. And in that moment... I knew that we were headed in the right direction with that record, and we should do more songs in tribute to Alan Tucson. So without talking anymore, this is with you in mind, dedicated. No, this is, this is all these things. But Lauren is in my mind. This is all these things by Alan Tucson.
We've got Stanton Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for coming to support us. Thank you so much. If you're watching the stream, we we'll really appreciate it. Streams have really helped us through all of this, and we're really glad and grateful to be able to start playing for live people. You have no idea how much it means to us. No idea. That last song was composed by the great James Black. Yep. If you haven't heard his name yet, it's okay. I'm envious of you. Because you have a new favorite drummer and all-around musician. He was the drummer who played with Ellis Marcellus on Ellis's early recordings, the classic, classic Ellis Marcellus. He's also the drummer on Eddie Bo's Hook and Sling, one of the funkiest things to ever come out of New Orleans. And he's an incredible composer. We play a lot of his music. But James Black, remember that name. Check out his music once you get out of here. Yes, indeed. So we have come to our allotted time. And we are going to play one more song for y'all this evening. Once again, this is David Torkanowski on Thank you. the piano. This is James Singleton on the bass. Stanton Moore on the drums. And cymbals. Yes, indeed. Oh, that last tune went out to Kevin Lehman. Kevin, if you're watching, that one went out to you. I remembered you asked for that one, and I love playing that one. All right, y'all, thanks so much. We're going to play a tune by my good friend, Mr. Robert Walter, who used to live here. So he counts a little bit, and he's hopefully going to move back, actually. True story. All right, my income just went down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check this out. This is called Maple Plank. We thank you all for coming. Thank you so much.
to hear one more? All right. This is the encore evening, the encore portion of the evening. Check it out. by New Orleans very own meters. y'all so very much for supporting Tipitina's, supporting live music during this time. The virtual tip jar is open. We appreciate it so very much. Thank y'all. Good night.